Hi everybody, Jo here. Welcome to our Halaganza. I have to say I adore just coming to Lavinia, having a play, using all these wonderful new products and yes we've got new stamps and they are fabulous, you're really going to love these. And I love the fact that if you don't live close, and I know a lot of our friends don't, and we have crafty friends all over the world, which is just fabulous. But I know that you can join in and you can share with these lovely videos and tutorials that we have online. And again, they will be available on Catch Up. So if you're watching this with me live, morning, how are you doing? I hope you're excited. If you're watching on Catch Up, do you know what? Morning, evening, whatever time it is, you know, you just join in and I hope you enjoy the event as much as we do. Honestly, I'm so thrilled to be part of this uh, fabulous Lavinia family. Now, I have got myself some cheeky snacks, look, but I promise I won't eat any of these until I've finished. Because obviously, you might not be able to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Mind you, that might not be a bad thing. Now today we're just going to have some play. I've got an idea in mind and we're going to see where it goes. I hope that's okay with you. Just, I was going to say you need to see how my mind works but I know that's a funny place isn't it? Now I'm starting with a piece of, this is watercolour card, Lavinia watercolour card. And what I want to do is some painting on it which I'll explain when we go along. Now, my main focus is this fabulous new stamp, Lupin, and I just adore this stamp. Anybody who knows me, I have a thing about hairs, and I have to say, um, oh, you're not straight on, this, on the acrylic block, let's just put you straight. I have a thing about hairs. I've got ornaments in my garden, <laughs> I've got ornaments in the house, I've got pictures. Do you know what? I adore hairs, so these are just, you know, fabulous for me. Now, I want to be painting him, so I'm going to use this fabulous Wow um, Clear Gloss Embossing Powder. But I'm going to stamp him black, and I just want this to provide almost a gutter so it's easier for painting him later. And as I say, all will be explained. You can tell I'm excited. Um, Elliot, our little grandson, when he gets excited, he can't get his words out and he sort of dribbles with excitement. And I've got to be honest, I'm a bit like that today. So please forgive me. But it's just such an exciting event, honestly. And, and it's so lovely. I love it when you all comment to each other. You know, as I keep saying, to have lovely friends. And when you leave comments and we recognise names, and it is, it, it, it's just fabulous. I get really excited as well when people meet up at workshops and then they become friends. And I've seen that happen and they've stayed friends for years. And you know what? To be a catalyst like that, it, oh, it's just, just amazing. Right, so I'm going to... You're going to sit there. And the detail in this stamp, I mean, Tracy hand draws all these stamps. And I have to say, I mean, I can't draw for toffee, which is why I'm a stamper. And I'm glad that Tracy can. But the actual detail, it is just exquisite. Now, again, because there's so much detail and because I'm going to emboss, I don't want to be in a rush to lift my block too quickly. Even though you're watching and I'm tempted to do it a bit quicker, I'm not going to. Oh, beautiful. But I just want to whack, and that's a technical term, whack me embossing powder on before I look at it too much. Now, where's my little brush? And we'll just gently tap that off. Tap its bottom. And then this back in the pot and I love to do this this works really well um, you've seen me do it with brush oil powders I just think it's lovely to stamp in black and then use a clear embossing powder now I'm going to put my heat tool on so please do excuse the noise I'll be nice and quick Always let your heat tool warm up. So we'll give it a minute just to just to warm up. And then I'll see if I can get you to see if we can see this. Oh look, there's his feet going. 
And just slowly, remember, when you're embossing, just move your way around. Oh, look, it really brings into life. Look at that. Really does just bring him to life. I mean, that detail. Let's do it. That's just warmed the air up in my craft room a little. Now, I want to give him something to look at up here. And one of the new stamps is called Cedar. And again, this is one in my samples I couldn't stop using. I know we're not supposed to have favourites. But you know when you do. Or you just find you keep using... Um, using them well that is after stroking them all because we're a bit like that aren't we as crafters now i want this over here and it's amazing from one little stamp how you can make a whole area and again, I'm being mindful if I'm inking up off camera, it's because I don't want to put my block on here because I'm trying not to get dirty finger marks on here. Because again, you know what we're like for that. Right, let's just turn it round a little. And again, I'm just using my black, my nocturne ink. Let's just put the branch coming off there. And then we'll just fill in a couple of little spaces here. Just so we get an, an overall design. And I'm thinking one more. And I'm just using first generation for this. One more over here, and then I think just down the side, just need a little hint, so we almost fill this corner. And then if you look, that for me gives that a nice shape, and there we go, he's looking up there, look. Now we need to give him something to look at, don't we? So, just give that a wipe. You know me, I'm afraid I've got to wipe my stamps and put them back. Now, we've got these fabulous little bottles, look. And one of these says flying potion. So, I'm going to have a bit of a flying potion, I think. Now, these are going to be so useful. They're going to be one of those little stamps you're going to think, oh, you know, when you just need something. And I'm thinking... I'm going to just put this here. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're all shouting at me now. Joe, is that really flying? <laughs> yes, it is. Well, it's Halloween. It's this mystical time, isn't it? All sorts of things happen. And I've got some more potion here. Oh, and this is glow worms. So let's just have... Glow worms there. And we've got fabulous other ones. Let me read them. Wing oil, wand cleaner. Now, you all need some wand cleaner, don't we? Now, I think Tango is going to come in here for this. So I'm going to ink Tango up. And I'm just going to put him hanging off. My flying potion. There we go. And then just so that it looks realistic, let's just... We'll put a little cord round the neck here and we'll hang it on the tree. And the same with this one here. And I'm just doing it upside down because I didn't want to lean on my work. So there we go. Hmm. Bit of fun, I know, but it just shows you. 
Now, with our cedar, there's this fabulous little fir cone look. So let's just add, and again, I'm turning it round just because I'd rather work this way. Let's just add a few little fir cones. Just, just give a little bit more something here. A little bit more detail. I'll have another one there. Again, I don't want to overcook it, but I just think some. And again, this is great for, I'm thinking, I love fur cones on, you know, your Christmas designs. And for me, it's these little stamps that really make the difference. You would notice if they weren't there. They just fill in those spaces. Now let's have a look. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it with that. So I'll give that a wipe and pop that down. But up in this corner, again, we've got a lovely collection of four silhouette birds. Now, for me, I've got to be honest, I have got so many other stamps that these are going to go really well with. Now, let me think, where am I going to? Oh, I think my neighbour's just starting to garden. I think we'll put that one there. It always happens, doesn't it? Or maybe it's the... Um, the Halloween gremlins just making some noise. So if you can hear some noise in the background, I do apologise. Right, let's just put our little bird here. And when you think of the places that you can sit these, we've got a fabulous signpost. They sit fabulously on top of the signpost. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, it looks like he's got a headdress. <laughs> and there are four and two facing each way so again so useful right now we just need something at the bottom don't we so let me have a look again got some lovely little florals here and i don't want anything too much at the bottom just building up the design i'm doing my stamping first just because, as I say, I'm then going to add some colour. But just to start off with, for me, and it's just the way I work. Um, I've said before, because I'm not a confident stamper, it's the way I like to work. So I tend to do my stamping first and then build up my background around it. So that if I was to make a Horlix of it, which, as we know, I mean, how many times have we dropped our ink pad or put a smudge? And that's why, like I say to you, things for me like turning my work. I love that. This is going to be so useful. So this is on the flower collection and there are four little stamps on this collection. And we've also got a lovely oak flourish. And I like this because, again, it's a silhouette. And for me, I just want to add a little bit of depth in the design. And this is perfect look just to add. Sorry, I'm just checking you can see because you know what I'm like. I'm liable to just keep talking and wander off shots. For me, this just in these spaces look just adds that almost little bit of because I've got solid stamping here a little bit here just follows that eye and you'll see the difference it really will and it will um almost ground the design and I'm not overcooking it I don't want too much just want a few I'm just going to put an extra one there just popping in just over the top there one more how many times do you do that? Do you think you've finished? Yeah, so I like that. So that's my stamping. So what I'm going to do is just quickly run my heat tool over that. I don't want to go over the embossing, but just to make sure that all this stamping's dry. Because you know me, I worry about smudging it. As I say, that probably says more about me than anything, but... As I say, this is just the way my head works. So we've done our stamping and now I'm thinking, let's just add a little bit 
of grounding so let's just come in with our acetate masks you can tell i'm making this up as i'm going along can't you i had to quickly grab my masks then thinking uh oh where are they now have i got a green ink pad handy i have bermuda we'll go with bermuda and where's my green brush there we go so let's just have a little bit of grounding here and again ink pad into the lid and i'm not gonna overthink this because i really want looping to be center stage We'll just add a little bit more, just a bit deeper under his bottom, just so we've got that shadow. Yeah, and let's have a tiny bit of a hill in the background again. I'm not going to overdo it, just slightly, almost the mere suggestion that there's that there's something going on there. And I think that's that's enough. And then we'll give that a wipe. And put that away and then we'll get our acetate circle masks and let's just add a bit of a moon in the sky now again shall we go yeah i think we need it over there see that's too low i don't want a spotlight but maybe i could have the flying potion just there yeah i like that so you've guessed it have i got a blue ink pad della blue it's always good to have della blue on hand Although I do need another Della Blue. You know, when I got this, it was so juicy. I can't believe how much I've used it. So again, spinning my work round. I think I'm going to go Flying Potion there. Should I put it up here? No, I do like that there. Almost where he's looking. Right, decision made. Always start at the bottom when you're flicking off your mask. Again, so if it's too deep, at least your deeper colours at the bottom. And it'll just look like it's any extra sort of shade at the base. And again, coming gently. So I'm taking extra off, even though my ink pad is so, and this one really is, so <laughs> I've used it so much. But still, keep the good practices. Right. And then what we're going to do is... Let's just add a little bit, just round the edges here. Just to sort of take the, the almost dark white off the card. And again, the stencil brushes are perfect for this. And I'm not adding a lot of colour. I always start in the corners because I want my corners deeper. And like I say, it's just to take... Take that off there. So we'll put the lid on that. Now, I want to add some colour to my, my fabulous hair here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my metallic gilding polish. Now this is just such wonderful stuff and you can paint with it. So the colour I'm going to use is Copper Shine. I'm going to take the lid off and I've got my brush in water. I'm just going to put a little bit on the mat. And obviously it's water based this, so it's perfect for painting. And the more water you add, the paler it will be. And this is why we've done our um, embossing. So it gives me a little bit of gutter. So it's easier to paint. And I'm just going to add, just with my Lavinia water brush. Now Trace is drawn where the, the darker colours would be. And again, we've got these lovely lines to go to. And this is going to give him such a lovely sheen. 
And it's a great way to use these gilding polishes. And as I say, it's not a problem introducing your wet brush because at the end of the day, they are a water-based product and we do our night-night routine and spritz them anyway. So I'm going to add a bit more water look because I actually want this area paler. So where I've wanted more colour, I've started first and added more of the gilding polish. And then the areas where I want it a bit paler, just going to add more water and less polish. And I know that sounds obvious, but sometimes we almost forget the obvious, don't we? And, it, it, you know, it's good to have it just sort of reinforced. But also, I know we've got some lovely new crafters with us. And, um, you know, remember what it's like when we started. Mind you, it's like when we get new techniques. We're all beginners then, aren't we? I mean, I love it when new products come out. I get so excited. I love learning how to use things and just seeing how I can, you know, use them with, with the products I've already got. So this gilding polish is fabulous look to paint with. And you can just take your time and just build up the design exactly how you want. I'm being mindful that you are watching me um, and you might not particularly want to watch me all day. And also I am aware of how big a slot we've got. <laughs> I know we've got somebody else coming up next. So I won't spend ages. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some to our lovely fur cones as well. Look, And the sheen when this is dry is just beautiful. And again, if you notice, you can still see the stamping through. Even here where I, I haven't... Um, use the clear embossing powder as long as you don't have it too thick so obviously I've got some water added to this because I still want to see all that beautiful detail in the stamping we got one more so I hope you like these new stamps and the design team were all using different stamps and showing you different ways of using them. So I'm hoping you enjoy all the inspiration that we've got on here. Right, how's it looking? Just want a bit more here, just a bit more detail and just on there. Now we need to do his ear. So we'll come in, I've got a lovely pink colour here and this is all lush pink. I'll just clean my brush and then we'll just get a little bit of pink and I only want a little bit. I don't want it to be over, over pink. Just a hint of pink on his ear here. And what's lovely is when this is dry, I can add my white pastel pencil. Now, it may not dry in time for me to do it, um, but certainly when it is dry, I will add it and show you. So I have to look at that. If I bring that closer. Now, really important, before I put my lids on here, we need to do the night-night routine. It's a water-based product. So with our water pot, night night the same with this one night night and then that way it won't dry out lid back on now normally i would carry on painting with this but obviously because we're here today i can just clean that up and what i will do is let's just get our add a few little finishing tricks. So I'm thinking 
let's just add a little bit of shadow so this is just the the pastel pencils and just a bit of smudging a bit of shadow there and we'll add a little bit of white highlight just on our mouse and then maybe we'll come in with a little bit on the bottle maybe a little bit more on the mouse I love these hanging bottles it looks like he's really having fun doesn't it let's add a, just a little bit on the, the bird a little bit of shape a little bit of a wing now don't know if we're going to be dry enough yet to add my my highlights no it's not quite dry what i have got is one here that i've painted to just show you when he's dry look just by adding some of the white pastel pencil here it really just finishes it off but obviously mine's not quite dry yet so if I show you the difference, can you see? So just adding that little bit of white. So do forgive me if I can't do that today. And that just would finish it off, wouldn't it? You can add a little bit of white to here. A little bit on his feet. A little bit on his nose. And then what I am going to do with a blue gel pen just give him a little bit of blue on his eye there I think that really adds to it now I want to add some little berries so what sh what color shall I go I think I'm quite liking the blue you know so Posca time and I just want to add a few little just to fill in this little space here now again you could use your um, liquid pearls for this you could add glitter I just think those little berries and we'll just add a few down here I just think it for me just fills that space beautifully now again if we'll go in dare I say Christmas mind you I know you like you've probably got all your Christmas cards made haven't you you could add red couldn't you as those little berries but I, I think that is just I mean look at him looking there now we need a word on here don't we a sentiment So out with my sentiment stickers. It's frightening how many packs of these I have, look. Now, I think, what do you think, friends? Moments like these. For me, I think joy and laughter. I think this really is. And I'm just going to use, pop it on my brush, look, just so I can have a look. I'm thinking here, see there's going to be too far away. Let me see what you can see. That's no, I don't. I just, I think I like it there, just poking in the, in the moon there. But that is such a good tip, you know, holding it and then let's check we've got it straight. And somewhere we've got a fine liner, haven't we? And I just want to come in with my fine liner. And that for me definitely is joy and laughter. And a last couple of things I actually made. I've stamped a couple of the bottles. And I'm thinking I can just add them here, look. So if I get my bitty boppity glue. And we just need a bit of shadow underneath those, don't we? Do you do this? Do you think you've finished and think that just finishes it off, look? So I'm thinking a bit of shadow there and there. 
and then glue these on. So we've got glow worms again. Now again, this is a dries clear glue, but I'm just going to use my finger to smudge it to the edges. And then what have we got here? Oh, we've got some wand cleaner. I think that's going to be useful over this weekend. I think I might need an extra bottle of wand cleaner. And these are nice shapes to cut out. On my spare card, I get a bit obsessed and I like to stamp it up and cut things out ready in case I need it. I've got the witch's hat stamped out. Look, I've coloured it and I've painted it again with the gilding polish. And I, did, I thought, well, it's too big to go on here. I did wonder whether to pop it here. But then I thought, no, I'm going to save that for another, another project. Do you do things like that? Do you have things in readiness? Or is that just me? Let's have a bit more shadow there. And can we just get a little bit of white Posca on his tail? I think it's just dry enough to add that. A few little, yeah. So that's a little bit of joy and laughter for you for today. I'm hoping you enjoyed that and I'm hoping you enjoyed the fact of looking at these lovely new stamps that we've got and I bet you've come up with lots of ideas where you're going to use them, haven't you? I mean, how you can incorporate them with your stash that you've already got. I do think we've got so many possibilities. I've had such fun using these. Anyway, I'm going to let you go now. Because I'm sure your brew's probably gone cold or have you finished it? Well, I think I'm going to go and make myself another one. And I might just find those lovely Halloween treats and have a little bit of a Halloween treat with it. So you take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of this weekend. Honestly, we're so lucky to be part of this fabulous family. You take care, everybody. Spooky love and hugs from me. Bye for now. <laughs>